Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn how to record API requests from Catalon Studio into JMeter and we will see an example and demo for both SOAP and REST APIs. And this is going to be very easy and very interesting. Do not worry if you have never done this process, I will go from very basics step by step. And the reason we may need to record our requests from Catalon Studio into JMeter is because JMeter is a performance testing tool and it does not have a lot of functionality for API testing or a lot of features. For example, in Catalon Studio or in other tools like Postman or SOAP UI, you can generate all the API requests by adding a WSTL for SOAP and you already might be having some requests added. So you can directly add those requests in JMeter without having to do it manually again in JMeter. So let's get started and let us see what we have to do. First, I will go to my JMeter and let me create a new test plan so that I can show you everything from scratch. So here is JMeter and I hope you have already seen some earlier sessions on JMeter and Catalon Studio and you have Catalon Studio and JMeter already set up. If you have not, I will already, I will provide some links in the notes or description that you can watch. And with this, let us start with JMeter. I will first create a test plan and have a HTTPS test script recorder added. Now I can manually go and create a test plan and then can add a recorder here or a easier and better way can be I will directly go to file and we have option for templates here. I can go here or I can go to this templates icon on the main toolbar and here I will scroll to recording option and this will generate a sample recording test plan. I will cl click on create and here I have to give the host to record and the scheme that is HTTPS or HTTP. Now I will show you both the ways how you can set up a proxy in Catalon Studio and how you can set up a proxy on your system and then record your API requests. So let us first go to Catalon Studio and I have some I have a project created and I already have some API requests both for SOAP and REST already added. So you can see in case of REST, I have this requests that have HTTPS protocol and therefore I can use the HTTPS in JMeter here as well. And for the proxy, I will go to window and go to Catalon Studio preferences and here under Catalon section, you will see a proxy section and you can go to authentication or system and you can provide a proxy here. So by default, it will be no proxy. You can say manual proxy if you want to set a proxy in Catalon Studio or if you have set up a proxy on your system, you can say use system proxy configuration. I will first show you manual proxy configuration. So here I will say HTTP and localhost and the port number you can use whatever you want but it should be same whatever you set in JMeter or whatever you set here should be set in JMeter as of now I'm using 8888 and this proxy does not require an authentication so I can leave this blank apply and OK and now this is set here on my JMeter I will say localhost here as well and then this is HTTPS and I will say create and it creates the test plan and you can see it has already added all the elements a thread group a recording controller a https test script recorder so we do not have to manually add it and now i can say i can go to https test script recorder the port number should be the same whatever you have given in catalon studio and now i will say start now here it also generates a certificate and if required, you can add this certificate in Catalon Studio. So it generates a certificate in the bin folder of JMeter. It is here and in Catalon Studio as well. If you require, you can add the certificate. But in this case, I believe it should be able to record our test cases and requests. So here, let me show you. I will go to my Catalon Studio and proxy is already set. So I am on my create user API. I will run this and you can see in the recording controller, I'm getting this 
recorded and I have got this post request which is for create user recorded here similarly let me go to some other request let us say get user and I will run this on Catalon and I'm getting a response and you can see here it has recorded the get request now I can try with a update user and I will run this and yes you can see it is it has also recorded the update user that is a put request here and it has also recorded all the headers so I do not have to manually do anything now and similarly I can try with a delete request as well I will go to delete request and run it and it has recorded our delete request as well so this is done and now I can stop the recorder and then I can check all these requests everything is working fine I can go to this listener and if I run this I can also save it I will say Catalon recording and if I run this you can see everything is running fine now it is also giving us a result for transaction controller because all these requests are added inside the transaction controller so I can change that if I want I can also change the names for more meaningful names like this will be create user this is get user this one is update user and this is delete user and I can also keep them out of the recording controller so I will drag and drop it outside and that's it and I can now disable the recording controller and now if I want I can increase the user load to whatever value I want so I can make it 100, 200,000 as per my needs and if I now go and run this you can see it is all getting executed and I am getting the response for all the APIs and I can also add a listener to view results in a table and if I run it now you can see all the results and all the stats you can see for performance testing now here I used a proxy inside Catalon Studio let us say I create a proxy on the system if you are on Windows you can go to your proxy settings and it will be inside the system settings so if I go to system settings or go to settings here you will find network and internet and go to proxy and here I will go to manual proxy setup and say localhost here and say the port number and then I will say save and close this if you are on Mac you can go to your network preferences and here you can go to your connected network go to advanced and go to proxies and go to web proxy and here again you can give your local host or server name the port and if it requires authentication you can give your username and password here so this is for Mac and I will go back to my windows I have set a proxy here now on Catalon Studio I will go to window Catalon Studio preferences and go to proxy go to system and here I will say use system proxy configuration apply and ok and on JMeter I will again go to HTTPS test script recorder the port number is same as I have provided in the system proxy I will say start and uh, okay so this is because the transaction controller was disabled let me enable the transaction controller again so that it will now run and I will go to here and say start and now if I go back to my Catalon studio and run my requests again so you can see if I run this again it is now recording in JMeter so this was a put request and everything is recorded here so you can also set at a system level 
now i will stop this and i will show you an example and demo for a soap request and in my catalon studio i have already added some soap requests for calculator and here if you see the it is http so i will have to set it accordingly in jmeter as well so here i will say i will have to create another test plan or i will have to add a test script recorder again so here i will say yes and i can again create a recording template and say create and here i will say localhost and i will say http so that it can generate the https network and record that i will say create and now again you can see we have got all this here and https recorder and now i have already set the system proxy here on my on my system i have already set that so i can work with that or if you want you can set at catalon studio as well i will just go with this i will click on start and now go to catalon studio and run my soap request and you can see it is now getting recorded here this was a request for addition and you can see this is added here and everything is added it has also recorded all the http headers similarly i can go to any other request and i will run it again from here and it is recording everything so you can see it was it has recorded this multiply api request as well and all the headers are also recorded so this is how you can do recording from catalon studio into jmeter and then you will have all your api requests set up and ready in jmeter for execution i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching